beautiful day. Oh my goodness. Not a single leaf is moving. And then the yucca palms proved me wrong. But oh, can we just take this in? I have to tell you that today I just want to go around, look at every single orchid I have in bloom as a little reminder that the stress of the past weeks, some results are to be seen and let's just enjoy them. That is what this video is about. And starting the whole thing off to the left here is my gorgeous Tolumnia Red Devil. So the first spike clearly has some blooms that are going over in the back, but the second spike is coming along beautifully as well. I just adore this deep, rich color. A tad darker in real life, but still beautiful on the viewfinder. I just love buds as well. They look like pomegranates. Speaking of pomegranate, it is branching, but not in bloom yet. So we'll just focus on blooms. And here's my little hot fuchsia with white necklace. <laughs> also, some blooms are going over already. Still dotted with color though. And for convenience sake, I brought down my Dendrobium lutins blanc because I am going to have to be painting it with a paintbrush soon not using any alcohol, but to get rid of the aphids that are trying to spoil my little display here. Oh my goodness, this orchid has been very, very tough to get to bloom. And then aphids come and spoil the whole presentation. You see them in there? So maybe I should have painted it before I did this video. It just didn't occur to me because I painted the blooms free of aphids yesterday. And I just thought, no, you can't be coming back again and again. What a nuisance. But my first time bloomer here, at least we're getting some blooms because it is abundant, which is beautiful. And it has such funky little protrusions on the petals. It's almost like it has warts. Super interesting. Let's look at a bud. Maybe we can see the warts. No, of course not, because there's another critter there. Very, very interesting though. Has a slight, slight fragrance of a little bit of honey, burnt honey. Like if you're making caramel, but more sweet than burnt caramel. Appreciate these blooms a lot. I've been fighting hard for them. In my grow space now, because most of my blooms are inside, because I didn't want any buds to blast, which was not successful but it's more risky to have them outside. This is my Lelia Harpophila. Look at that. Beautiful. And I think I managed to get that bud to bloom out. It shouldn't be blasting the third one right here. I have missed this orchid so much and the color on the viewfinder is true to the naked eye. My American hybrid is coming into bloom, not in bloom, but at least that bud is coloring up. We'll see that in other videos. And here's a sorry little Catlianthi, little fairy. For two years, I've been getting bloom spikes that have not had the strength to bloom as beautifully as I had a bloom in the first year. I was going to dedicate these blooms, but you see how quickly they're going over. Brought a little bit closer to the window, hoping that airflow would help a little bit with getting these blooms to look pristine. But they're not ready yet. Maybe next year we'll get better blooming and this should be highly, highly fragrant and she's not. But she looks nicer on the viewfinder than she does in real life. And for me personally, in my grow space, it is a pop of color. Papio Pedalum Mint Chocolate still in bloom very very pleased with this and now the viewfinder is actually showing the chartreuse green i was talking about many times when i put this orchid on a video it always used to come up yellow but now you can see the chartreuse green i was talking about this is what it really looks like very long lasting 
Coming into bloom is my No ID Phalaenopsis Big Lip, which I call Bubblicious. She's the first Phalaenopsis to bloom out. Beautiful. And we'll be making a video about what I have observed with regards to my complex hybrids over the winter, but at least she has a spike and she is in bloom. Zelencosidium. Evas imnu a la madrugada. Super long lasting, my goodness. This orchid is trying to worm its way into my heart. It is starting to succeed. On the viewfinder, the column looks very orange. It is in actual fact more of a yellow. I always like seeing this orchid in the viewfinder because it looks so much more impactful than it does in real life. But hey, a touch of color. Selen Cosidium Evas Himno a la Madrugada. Rincolelio Catlia Golf Green Hair Pig. One bloom. One bloom. Oh, so happy that this bud made it. Yeah, everything. That's why I'm doing this video today, just to enjoy the ones that have made it instead of lamenting about the ones that didn't just to appreciate these gorgeous blooms that I have at this moment. What a spectacle. I love this bloom and she looks correct in the viewfinder the way she does to the naked eye. Beautiful lime green markings in that bloom. I love this orchid. And because this is happening now every day, one last look at my Fred Clark Yara After Dark Black Pearl. Yes, I'm losing blooms on the daily, but you can see how fresh they still look. And when they fall off, it's almost as if you've bumped them and they should still be on the plant. What a gorgeous spectacle this was. What a gorgeous fragrance it was. And still has a fragrance, not all the blooms are dropping at the same time, so it's very, very slow to say goodbye. But I just had to. You see how that is yellow? It's going to come off very easily. I just had to show this one more time. What a blessing to have this orchid. My goodness. And then behind it, Lelia Lundii. She can't compete with the fragrance of the Black Pearl. She looks gorgeous. We've got something so solid and something so delicate. Beauty and the Beast, maybe? <laughs> Just marvelous. And in the back, you will see my Neo Stylus Lucneri Blue. These blooms are going over as well. They've lasted a very long time. And that deformed spike at the end, well, that's just a little quirk of my orchid. And well, that won't bloom out any further. And then we have the twins here. I love it. Somebody mentioned them as twins. Three stooges last year. Now I only have two blooms of the Mypathia pedalum Iona. And somebody in the comments talked about them as twins. And I love that analogy. Super interesting blooms. It's like they're dressed in pinstripes going out for a girl's night out. And very true to the eye, what I see in the viewfinder. It is exactly what they look like. I brought my Dendrobium Nafert Alex Poli outside because it looks so much more spectacular than it would inside. Super long lasting blooms as well. They live indoors on the top shelf of the baking rack I have right in the middle, just because of the way their spikes are leaning down. This one was supported because of a video, but I can walk by and just look up and see the amazing blooms and the interesting features that these blooms have even from the back. Incredible. Incredible. 
Look at that. Money shot. In C2 and a bit cumbersome to move around, but tucked back here is my Angraecum sesquipedale variety bossery in bloom as well. I've been open about six days now. What an impressive orchid. I very rarely move her. But once they start exuding their fragrance at night, I will be turning this orchid around and figuring out what I'm gonna do with those long roots while she is in bloom. Because that fragrance, I need to stick my nose in every night, several times when it comes. What a pleasure to have this orchid in bloom. What a privilege. I hope nobody is getting seasick from being so jiggly with my gimbal. I am very, very sorry. If you're still here, thank you very much. This is my beautiful bowl of Prostechia Garciana Alba going bonkers in its pot of purely Akadama with a layer of lava rock at the bottom in a semi-hydro setup. For winter, this being somewhat a hot grower, I am so happy that I found its forever place. I don't have to guess where I'm going to put it next winter because my goodness, look at this. Blooms, blooms everywhere. Buds coming out as well, continuously opening up. This is, what a spectacle. And not only that, she is highly, highly fragrant. Such a pleasure and such a relief that she is enjoying this setup so much more than being on a mount. Everywhere you turn, buds. <laughs> and she's also throwing out new growths. So this is Prostechia Garciana Alba with her very, very elegant talcum powder fragrance. Cousin it, Maxillaria variabilis. Also going bonkers <laughs> in his little corner of the patio. Look at the gazillion blooms he's got out. Now he's just going nuts. Now we've got sort of the, I wouldn't say the highest bloom count, but he certainly, certainly is well on his way to being at the highest bloom count. Still plenty of buds to come. There are gonna be some straggler blooms that we will find probably in March as well. But this is Cousin It as I like him the most. Absolutely not an orchid, but the fragrance of spring is already in bud. Look at all this jasmine getting ready to open up. This is gonna be, oh, so good to smell again. Millions and millions of jasmine buds. My Cymbidium buds are still not swelling up to the beach ball semblance that I gave them the name for, but we haven't lost any, so there's that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a little relaxed look around as to what is in bloom all on the same day. I needed this video and thank you so much for indulging me. Really appreciate it so much. It's been quite the fight. We are by no means out of the woods yet. Still have February to deal with. But just for one moment, step back, take a breath and enjoy what has come through. I appreciate your time. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I wish you a beautiful day. As always, though, please, on one condition, that you stay safe and take care. Bye. <music>